Okay, this video is going to be uh, a test on the Bic lighters to see um, how well they do in the cold. They've been in the freezer for about uh, over six hours. So I'm going to hit the start button and I'm going to go run in and get the the Bic lighters and then we'll see if they light up and see how much time it takes for them to light up. The room temperature in here is probably between 75 and 80. Okay, so I'm going to run and get the Bic lighters. Okay, that's the electronic one, and it's it's almost empty. This is the classic that's almost empty, and that one's pretty full. So, just the camera. So right off the bat, you can see some of the ice. See, there's some ice crystals. Okay, so this one's the one that's almost full. You know what? I'm going to shut the lights off. Okay. Well, that's unexpected. This is the one that's almost full. Wow. You know, some of the stuff I've seen on the web is not matching up with some of my own testing. Okay, this one is, I would say, about two-thirds empty. Okay, so obviously the ones that are more empty don't... Uh, let me try this one again. This is the classic again. Okay, so what I'm seeing is, is when you have a Bic lighter that's full, it seems to do better in the cold weather. Okay, so you're, you can see the flame's already gone up from the first strike, the very first one. We're only two minutes in, two and a half minutes into the test. Um, I don't think it would warm up. I mean, you know, it's just it just came out of the freezer. Okay, this is the electronic one. Okay, and this one is almost empty. Uh -oh. Wow. So Okay, that's the full one. See if we can get this almost empty one to... Oh no, this is the one that's about two-thirds empty. Okay, it did light. It, the, the flint must be a little wet from the condensation. Okay, so this one, it's about 75 to 80 degrees in this room, and plus I'm handling it, so all the ice is melted. But look, we're still under, we're not even four minutes in. This one definitely requires some more. So the flint on this one, you know, it is a little sluggish, probably because of the condensation. This one's brand new. Now look at that. There's a little... Let the macro adjust here. <laughs> Come on. 
I have a macro setting on this camera, but obviously it doesn't want to kick in. There it goes. So you see a little black on the right above the BIC uh, on the the valve opening here, the valve tab. I'm wondering if that's flint, part of the flint. Because this one's very new. I've only struck, struck this one about maybe less than 20 times. So the flint looks like it's gotten onto the... Same with this one. Come on, macro. Uh, I liked my other camera better. It was quicker. See, there's some more black. So when the flint gets uh, moisture on it it uh, it looks like it breaks down a lot more or or just the flint no because this one's new so there wouldn't be that much flint on the on the wheel so that's that's something that you know when it gets waterlogged the flint might get might erode quicker but regardless of that it's under five minutes all these lit and unfortunately I can't give you the temperature of the freezer but it's well under you know the freezing point I think most freezers run about 15 degrees under freezing so um, surprisingly this guy has uh, survived the most most of the tests the water test of course I didn't test these for for water but um, this one did good on that it lit up right away on the the uh, this cold test um, the only thing I don't like about the idea of this one is it's got the electronic ignition if that fails you're you're pretty sunk um, the classic lighters, you know, they use a very simple way, a very tested way of, of lighting the, the gas. Um, so I would say that this one's probably pretty good for your main one. And then just have your, your bit classics as your backup lighter. Because if, if anything goes wrong with this electronic trigger system to ignite it, um, you know, you're pretty much sunk. But at least with this, it's, it's still a very simple way to light a flame. It may not be as fancy and reliable as this one, but it's still, this, it's still a, a good way to do this. So anyway, that's the test. I'm a, I'm just a little shocked because um, I've heard I've heard bad things about how these light in the cold. Of course, it's not cold now. I mean, they're they're pretty much warmed up. But uh, obviously, it's good to have a full Bic lighter, a brand new Bic lighter, because this one lit up like right away. And then the electronic one is definitely a good one to have, but but I would say just make sure you have a classic BIC with you as well that's full. So anyway, that's my test. Um, I've been having fun doing this, and I'll probably do some more on these lighters because uh, a lot of people put them down because they're just so simple and cheap, and I'm just starting to learn about them. I mean, I've only been fiddling with them for less than a month, and I'm pleased with them, and they're definitely going to go out my bug out bag, or go into my bug out bag, so. Okay, thank you for watching.